Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about program control instruction. That program control instruction you can find here in basic instruction program control operation. Here jmp jump, jump n level. Okay, we will discuss. Before we discuss that program control instruction, first I want to show that we want to control a motor speed by the material height in a bunker. Here the material height from the field. So here we will give the value, the material height actual value. This is not from the field because we are simulating here. So we will give the input here as a simulation and here you can see the actual value range 800 or range 2 range 3 whatever you set will control the speed by the set point here if the value less than actual if the actual value less than the range 1 then it will take the sp0 if the actual value this actual value less the uh, in between that range it will take the sp1 if the actual value in between 2 and 3 then it will take the sp2 if the range in between 3 and 4 it will take the sp3 okay like this i will show here the bar graph of the actual value here bar graph of the motor actual set point here sp okay here we have made the logic that if the actual value from the field is less than the actual range 1 then it will take the sp not set point to the sp temporary and if the actual value from the field material height is in between that range actual range 1 and actual actual range 2 then it will it will take the sp1 to sp temporary okay means if the value actual value in between that range then the in range output will high by this output high move move block will be enabled and whatever the input in move it will pass to that memory okay here now current value is now 800 so it is now pass a sp1 set point to set point temporary in other here you can see that value is 800 but it is the range in between 100 thousand to thousand to 1200 so it is not in the range so it is not high so sp2 value is not passed to that signal and here always we have set the sp temporary value here and finally we have passed that sp temporary value to final okay this set point will pass to the motor bsd motor set point okay so here you can see the you know that the main ob1 will interface between the plc cpu and your user program it will always scanning if one cycle is complete then it will start again so in every when main ob scan the network you have made or function you have made it will scan every network and every network when it is scan it will spend some time one microsecond two microsecond or hundred microsecond so every network it will scan and need some time to scan that network so if you if you exclude that network this one or any network then it will not take that time so your cpu scan time will faster so how can you control that if it is not required if this range your program will be there 
here your program will be here but your network will this program will not scan how we can control that we will discuss here okay now see that network 2 is high so this network is too high so we don't need to check that network 3 network 4 network 5 or network 6 we can directly pass the ESP set point to here because we get the get the value SP set point from SP1 to SP temporary because the actual value is matched with that range so we can get the value from here and directly pass the value SP temp to SP final here so how we can control and other we can network that network 6 7 we will exclude so when it will exclude it will save some time and your ob1 scan will be less and your uh, program program uh, control program uh, execution time will be less your program execution will be faster okay now we'll use that jump that jump will work when the input is one that means jump will here first okay we'll drop the jump here okay this jump network will work if the input is high and this this jump end will work if the input is low that time is it jump n will work okay first we will use the jump this one that means jump if RLO is high means RLO is high its input is high that time jump will work here you have to give the jump level means if the input is high it will take where it will scan the next will scan next here will scan next here so how will jump we have to give a name here jump level here we'll give a jump level that set point okay here we have give the jump level sp and then we'll give a jump level here we'll just drag and drop the jump level here okay and give a name that jump okay now we'll download and check okay see it is still working this one because it is not the input is not high so it will not work so here we will give the value less than 800 if the value actual value less than 800 range 1 it will take the sp 100 so we will give the set point 700 see 7 less than 700 it will use so here the set point is 100 you can see set point is 100 here you can see also now go to the program control here see the jump level is this sp is now high jump is high see here this network 2 is now gray it's not executing see it is not green see it is not pop earlier it was just dotted line means it is scanning but now it is not scanning means this network is now exclude it direct, directly goes to that jump level here and give the set point this one again we'll use the jump here here and give a set point sp sorry jump level as a set sp here we will give the jump level also as a sp
okay now we'll download okay now see jump is there but it is not scanning here also it is not scanning it is not scanning just it is only scanning because the value actual range set point is now range is 800 but actual value is 700 is less than this range it is true logic is true so it passed the sp mod value to sp temporary and jump level goes to jump level sp and next meta 2 is going there you can use different different jump level if you want to use the sp1 here you can give the another jump level and when the logic is true of that network it will go to that jump level you can give the jump sp1 like this here and also here you can define the jump level it will go to that jump level it will exclude that one also okay now we'll give the value is like like 900 so here value is 80 here you can see the earlier first one is scanning it will not true so it will not go to jump level sp so it will scan network next network so here it is true now so it will goes to jump level sp in network 7 and pass the value 82 set point final and here from the network 3 this network 3 is now exclude to network up to network 6 by this way your scan time will be less by excluding this network and your program execution will be faster and that is your program control in next video we will discuss about jump list switch also return and here i have told that jump will work when the input is high and jump end will work when input is low and when it is high it will not pass to that jump level and it is just opposite okay thank you